State leaders keeping tabs on who's living in hotels and motels as part of the voucher program. They visited Rutland today and our Haley Morgan was there for the tour. She joins us live. Haley, what did you learn? Darren, the clock is ticking for Vermont's voucher program, and people living in motels didn't want to talk to me on camera, but they don't know where they're going to go when it's time to check out. And I said, is there any other places? So they gave us some other places, which are like, yeah, it's three, four, we are waiting list. Rutland City officials and the Department of Children and Families are working on a plan to make sure homeless people in the area won't be left behind once the snow melts in the spring. Voucher program is uh, helping us and helping people. I mean, uh, it's good for those who cannot afford it and, you know, are the victims of circumstances. And people that are in tough situations is something Mohammed Anil is using used to seeing. He's owned the Econo Lodge for about a year now and says the majority of people staying there have vouchers. I met a family uh, who, who sometimes tells me that uh, the girls tells me that her grandma was in a motor, that motor and her mother is in that motel, and now she is in that motel, and she in in my motel. State and city leaders are visiting motels and hotels around Rutland that are part of the state voucher program. They checked out the conditions of the buildings ahead of winter and are getting a handle on the people who are living there, trying to connect them with resources to get them out. What's it like to have to live in a hotel? Sucks. Yeah. And in Rutland specifically, because we have the largest population of households living in the hotels here than anywhere else in the state. It was really important to bring Chris and Jennifer down to have a, a conversation about what's going on here and how we can transition to that next step. 232 households are living in these hotels and motels in Rutland, and Mayor Mike Dungess is already looking ahead to when the program ends in the spring. The state acknowledges subsidizing rooms isn't sustainable, but part of the problem is not having enough affordable housing. We've seen over time that the model is not doing the best possible for these folks who need services, who need to be connected uh, to other resources to help them move on to more permanent housing. Now the city does not now the city does not have a plan for when the vote the motel uh, program ends, but they're hoping that they can come up with another plan uh, you know during that time. Uh, reporting in Rutland, Haley Morgan, Channel 3 News. Haley,